Hey guys, so a few weeks ago I put out this message um, to everyone about sending me art, specifically channel art, or really it could be anything to do with uh, fish tanks, the fish keeping hobby, and I got back quite a few responses, and they were pretty darn awesome. Now I did say that every single art piece will be featured, and that's true, they are all going to be featured no matter what. However, I did leave out the fact that it was kind of like a competition, not really, but Sort of. My favorite ones will get special features in my videos in the future and also on Instagram. I think one of them has already been posted onto my Instagram. And they will also become my new uh, channel art and also Patreon art. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Let's just get right into it. First off, we got two submissions from at beta underscore drawings underscore. You can find them on Instagram. Now this person sent to me uh, two drawings of their fish, I'm assuming. They're really cute betta. I think they're veil tails. I think Suki is a half moon, if I'm correct in that assumption. The next one is sent in by Astrid McBell. I think this is their red arowana. Next one is kind of different. It's sent by Cephalon IO. And this is his take on Asian stone catfish. Oh, this is pretty neat, that they're like battle crafts. Next, we got a couple of goldfish sent in by Avery. Very cute, got the big wren over there up top and some flowy fins. And then we got something different. This is tattoo art of a, I believe that's a koi. I think it's a koi, not an arowana. This is by a tattoo artist named Henry Lau, and he's in Oregon. So if, you know, you're in the area and you want to get a sick tattoo, um, definitely check him out. It's got the octopus sort of thing going on. It looks amazing. And even though this isn't like planted tank related or fish keeping hobby related, I'm sure if he can do this, he can do whatever you're asking. Get a sick like angelfish tat right here. <laughs> This next one is by Ishikama Kito, and this is pretty sweet, pretty smart. Uh, you better believe it. I like the little eye wrinkles and how it's looking up for food. Next, we got two submissions from Nick Lawrenson. This one, the green one, is really cute. Look at the eyes. And I actually like this one even better. This is called Big Fish. It's really red and vibrant. And then two submissions from Ria Motlong. This one's of Luna. Thank you very much, Ria. Um, thanks for keeping Luna on your mind. Thanks for drawing Luna for me. She says that even though this is not like exactly what Luna looked like, she imagined that to be what Luna would look like in fishy heaven. So that's really sweet of you. And then her next one is of a little stir by. Cory gang leader, maybe henchman, I don't know. Someone up in the ranks. Stir bys are no bronze Corys, let me tell you that. <laughs> Another Cory Dora sent in by Samantha. Shadsburg. This is one of her favorite fish. Really nicely drawn, super cute. And then another sort of concept art from Samantha. Betta versus duckweed, yes. I've seen my betta pick apart some duckweed before. Um, I think they were trying to like tell me that they're hungry. Give me food or I'm going to destroy your plant. This little pearl scale sent in by Victoria. This is a fish that has passed away. Um, rest in peace. You've done a really good job in representing your fish that passed away. It looks like a really cute little fish here. Thank you so much for sending that in. And now we have the runner ups, which are not um, going to make it to my favorite five category, but I really, really enjoy these guys as well. And it's not gonna be a surprise if they show up later on in some of my videos being highlighted again. This one sent in by at Emperor Chicken Wings. You can find them on uh, Instagram. Super cute little fish. I'm not really sure what kind of fish it is. It looks like a potato. It's really sad about something. Maybe it didn't get a snack today. Reminds me of my goldfish bop. Nevertheless, really cute. And I love the art style. I wish I could draw like this. Next runner up is by Ben Blassingame. <laughs> Let me just say that that's a really cool name. And showcasing his edifice fish called Shamu. Now this is like almost a concept art. I think this is basically a concept art of his betta. I love the textures and the attention to detail. This next one sent in by Emily Shia. And we've got the uh, plug over there, Shia. Butterarts.com. Dummy thick. Love the look of this goldfish, the big eyes and the big thick belly. Again, reminds me of Bap. Now we got the winners, the favorite five. This is from at Avera. You can find them on Instagram. A lot of awesome art over there. When I received this in my email, actually I received a notification on Instagram about it. I was choked. I I think I was playing a card game with my friends at the time and I just stopped everyone. I was like, 
check out this fan art, guys. This is next level awesome. I showed my parents, showed my girlfriend, everyone was like, whoa, that's awesome. Pay attention to detail on this, and the, the shading, the coloring, the, the textures, the light. I, I'm so happy that I can tell every single thing from what it is. I mean, you can even notice that those are dragon oko stones in the back. And we got rummy nose tetras, which are just bending in incredible ways, looking so cute. Got the neon's colors, of course. Got an angelfish hiding in the Valisneria. Got one stock of a Ludwigia repens. Got the Kabamba, or it might be hornwort. Probably Kabamba. I'm not gonna say it's a hornwort because I don't like hornwort. And then we got that little uh, corridors, I think, um, peeking out in the back there. At Avari, go check them out. Thank you so much, by the way, for making this. I know how long it must have taken. This next one sent in by Donovan Jones. This was actually one of the first art pieces I received. I was super impressed by this and I still am. I love the concept art of this. There's a bucket on my head and I'm riding Cory Doras like a true Cory gang. Got my logo FFT on it. What else can I ask for? Next we got Jade OP. Thanks so much for sending it in, Jade. Um, you totally uh, followed exactly what my rough little s bad, super bad, super rough sketch I had. There's the bucket, there's the gravel vac, and then the quarries flying in the air with the little bubbles trailing behind them. This is amazing. It reminds me of like Terraria. Super enjoyable and calming to look at. Next up, we got Portato Chip. I really like the colors on those Emperor Tetras. I think those are Emperor Tetras. And some green quarries. And then there's my logo. I am going to be using this for my Patreon channel art. So thank you very much. Simply amazing. And last but not least, we have Wirifesteria. Hopefully I am not butchering that name. And they sent in this cute little picture. The more I look at it, the more like cuteness I get from it. Such a unique piece of concept art that I never imagined I would receive. So yeah, thank you so much for this. Again, it reminds me of Bop, just checking me out, just seeing what's going on here. And I'm like, dude, please don't eat me. I'm not food, man. <laughs> but no, I do look pretty calm over there. I think we have a mutual understanding. Like, you don't eat me, I won't stop feeding you once I get big again. <laughs> or whatever's going on over here. And that wraps up this uh, secret sort of uh, art competition. Um, feel free if you have the time um, to spare, if you really enjoy making art, feel free to send me art. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.